Alright, so today we're taking a look at the much-anticipated Remnant 2, the sequel to Part 1 that came out a few years ago. Uh, I'm happy to say that if you're a fan of the first one, the sleeper hit, uh, you will definitely love this one. It is much bigger and much bolder. Uh, it in pretty much improved in every single way uh, to the first one. Both the gunplay and the melee feels great. It does retain the uh, gritty look of the first one. Uh, there is some uh, performance hitches here and there and that is very dependent on your system. You will definitely most uh, notice it during cutscene uh, when the frame rate uh, hitches quite a bit in certain scenes. And during gameplay, like I said, uh, how severe it is is based on your uh, System, but it's not terrible. Um, it doesn't ruin the experience, but you will definitely know this uh, when it pitches. Now the game does support ultra wide in gameplay and the menu. So, however, it does not support it in cutscene. You will get to a box, so keep that in mind. Now the audio is very important in these type of third-person shooter, and it does not disappoint. This game's audio is pretty amazing when it comes to the gunfire and the melee. Um, all sounds very impactful and it gives a nice sense of weight and so that is very very good. Now the game is actually pretty hard so if you really like a challenge I do recommend uh, playing on hard. Now that's not to say that normal is easy. Uh, normal is actually pretty, um, pretty challenging as well but it's just that when you're playing it on hard you will have to utilize all your weapons including the environment because you will definitely run out of ammo if you try to kill all the enemies. Now the Remnant series does borrow some of the soul-like genre mechanics such as resting at a checkpoint will refill your health, your Festus class, and your ammo. Uh, the enemy also does respawn as well. Uh, there is uh, some uh, Resident Evil-like uh, mechanics such as uh, observing objects and then inspecting it. Uh, using it as a clue and then using it to solve puzzle uh, in your inventory. So that is actually pretty neat. I always love that about the Resident Evil series. And graphically, I love the gritty look of the Remnant series. Uh, this second part does definitely look better and more detailed than the first. Um, the game does support uh, DLSS, FSR, and the XESS, also DLSS 3 frame generation. Along with supporting ultra-wide gameplay, the uh, dev also included the uh, FOV modifier, so that is always a welcome addition. So yeah guys, if you really enjoy the first one, don't even hesitate to pick this one up. Uh, it is a very safe pickup and you will definitely have a lot of fun. Uh, you can play it uh, solo. So far I've been able to do everything solo. It, of course it's going to be a little more difficult if you solo, but if you like that added challenge, uh, it is there or you can just play it with friends only or uh, public there in multiplayer but uh, everything uh, can be done solo alright guys so that wraps up my uh, quick impression of Remnant 2 in early access uh, look forward to Ratchet and Clank next week and thanks again for the continued support until then I'll see you in the next video take care all